Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another live stream from a home in Italy, live from beautiful, stunning, and extremely warm uh, Abruzzo. My name's David Benton, and tonight, tonight, it's Meet the Home Buyers, everybody's favorite live stream. Uh, a little bit different to, to usual because we're doing Meet the Home Buyers one year on. Well, it's actually been a little bit longer than one year, but as near as damn it one year. So we're going to be uh, speaking to Yeroon. I've actually, I think I've pronounced that right, even though he goes by the name of uh, of Joe or Joey. But uh, I, I want to try and pronounce it, be correct. Uh, and else, uh, they're going to tell us what life has been like uh, in beautiful uh, Abruzzo and what they're up to now and a little bit about their lifestyle over here. So it should be an absolutely fantastic one tonight. So I want to do, I want to get into this fairly quickly because uh, I do tend to, go on a bit at the beginning, don't I? So I've been told in all the comments and all the rest of it. So I will try and get on as quick as possible. So as I say tonight, meet the home buyers. We've also got uh, Domenico Antoni's Tongue Twisting Trials. That was a bit of a long one. Uh, we've also got Stunning Photo of the Week. Why is he not cheering? I'm sure it is. So uh, we've got lots of exciting things <laughs> coming on uh, coming on tonight. So let us know where you are in the world. Tony's going to sp start putting the comments uh, up shortly, uh, but I just need to read off a few things just so everybody knows what's happening over the, the coming week. So next week we have, when I can find it, uh, here we go. Uh, 23rd of April, my Abruzzo special edition. So I'm going to be talking about this fantastic area and also interviewing a few people that came on the last tours. And um, yeah, that should be a, a really good one. Looking forward to that. Then on the 30th of April, buying remotely. Uh, we're going through this subject again because it is the in thing that everybody is doing at the moment. Um, so I want to go through responsibilities. I want to talk about lots of things, lots of things to consider if you are thinking about uh, remote buying, which as I said, seems to be the end thing. We're completely set up to do that, um, but we're going to talk through the whole process and talk a little bit about everybody's responsibilities and all that kind of thing, just so you can be sure if it's the right thing for you. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention as well tonight is rentinabruzzo at gmail.com. Uh, a big hello to our friends over in the US. We've got a number of properties over here that they're renting. Uh, so anybody wanting to come to Abruzzo uh, then, and you're looking for a place, especially around the Sulmona area and Sulmona uh, itself, uh, then do get in touch with these guys if you're looking for short-term or long-term rentals. Um, I'll give them a little bit of a, a push tonight. And also our guests tonight are going to give you another option if you're looking to stay in the countryside. So make sure you watch, uh, keep on watching and see what they've got to offer as well. So renting Abruzzo. So if you're looking in particular around the Sulmona area, and usually in towns and villages where they have properties, um, they have some fantastic properties available. Get in touch with them. Just make sure you spell everything correctly. So take a look at it. Take a photograph. That's where it is. Rent in Abruzzo at gmail.com. Okay, last thing I want to say, obviously this week we have another uh, another tour, which I'm really looking forward to. Meet everybody tomorrow night uh, for an uh, aperitivo. Even though it's been absolutely boiling out here in Abruzzo, now they're saying the weather is going to be horrendous for a few days. So that's just about my luck. But there you go. We're going to do our best and we're still going to enjoy it. Uh, for those of you who are interested in joining one of our uh, property stroke area tours, uh, then go to the website www.ahomeinitaly.com, click on tours, and you can book some of these dates. Uh, so the 26th and 27th of September, there is uh, 18 spaces, but they are going now because 24th and 25th of October is now full. So that one needs taking off totally the next time we do this. Um, so 26th and 27th of September are starting to fill up. Then we have the 7th and 8th of November, which are... Again, there's plenty of seats on that one, but that one's going to start going really quick as well. So if you are interested, take a look on that because they have fantastic things. Tony, if you want to start putting some comments up so we know if there's anybody joining us because I can't see any numbers of any people. So I'm hoping out there in internet land, people are watching and I'm not just here speaking to myself. Um, here he goes. Look, he's on, he's on time. I'm here nice and early, excited about today's live. Thank you, Zach. Okay, so let's do photo, stunning photo of the week. I remember last week, and I do enjoy getting these photographs, and a, a few people have sent me, I've got quite a lot of photographs this week, uh, and I am going to use some of them 
for next week because they came in a little bit late. Um, so I choose one photograph. What I'm wanting to do, what, what I do like, is people send me photographs where they are in the world, maybe somewhere stunning in their part of the world, and also people that sent photographs uh, when they're over here in Italy as well. So what we're trying to do now is get people, even though this week nobody did that, but hopefully I want to see the word stunning on the photograph. So when you take a photograph, write stunning, do whatever you want, take a photograph, and 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 do it with the stunning uh, not logo but with the stunning what's the word the word uh, stunning that just to I don't know why it's just something we want to do uh, so this week stunning photo of the week because it made me smile uh, comes from Monica and she took this in her um, motorhome getting ready to come to to Italy and look at that I mean that is stunning isn't it you know you've just got your motor motorhome all sorted out and look what you're watching on TV forget Netflix you don't need any of that. This is the show to watch. <laughs> so that did make me laugh. Um, so thank you very much, Monica, for sending that, that photograph through. You've got the uh, stunning photo of the week. There you go. I can hear everybody saying, what is this about? I thought this was an Italian. Italian. We like to do things a little bit different, don't we? That's just what we do. Have a bit of fun, and then we get on with the real stuff. And you know what time that is then, don't you, everybody? It is now time for, when he gets rid of that on the bottom... He's now time for Tony. We've got to get our timing correct. It's now time. There you go. Domenico and Tony's tongue twisting trials. And everybody, <laughs> people think that we're a little bit nuts doing these things. But I get a lot of people saying it's good fun. So we're going to keep going. Those of you who've just joined, this is the first show that you've ever been on. What we do is we have Domenico who's, trying, who's learning English, Tony who's learning Italian. We say a famous, or they say, a famous line from a film. Tony's going to do it first in Italian, and then Domenico will come on round about five to eight uh, Italian time um, uh, to then say it in English. And at that point, and only at that point, not before, you can guess what the name is, the, what the name of the film is. So I'm going to bring Tony on now. He's, no, he's not seen the phrase yet. He gets five seconds to study it, and then he's going to say it in his best Italian. But no guessing just yet. I'm going to do it at the end of the show. And we're actually going to have two winners because there was a bit of a discrepancy last week because I thought one person was the fastest. Totally thought somebody else was the, the quickest to respond. And I think it's because there's a delay from Facebook to YouTube. So we're going to have a YouTube champion and a Facebook champion. Um, <laughs> Why? Why are we doing this? I've no idea. Anyway, it's still good fun, isn't it? So Tony's coming on now, but as I've mentioned before, please, please, please do not guess what it is yet. Let's get him on. Where is he? Tony, the producer. And here he is. Good evening, sir. Hey, up. Why? Another, another uh, ridiculous uh, T-shirt. Hey, good this. It's becoming a bit of a thing, isn't it, this, this T-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, are you ready for tonight's well, tongue twisting trial? This is the last good. of the easy one. In fact, Domenico said to me earlier that he's finding it a little bit difficult. So, this is we're on level one, one of 10. Yeah, now we're at level one. Next week, I think we're going to move up to level two. So, are well, you ready? I started on level 10. <laughs> <laughs> So just let everybody know, again, Tony has not heard this. I'll listen to it in his best Italian. Best. No guess in the film yet. I don't want to see any guesses, because if you do, it's just a wasted vote, and somebody else will pinch it later. <laughs> Are you ready, Tony? Yep. You've got, you've got five seconds. Well, one minute. Ooh, right, here we go. Has it come through? No, here we go. Well, you're... It's, what? You ready? Okay. Okay, in your best Italian. Uh, let's hear it. Solo un cucchiaio di zucchero aiuta la med medicina a scendere nel modo più delizioso. You've actually surprised me because there's a couple of difficult words in there. Go on. One more time. One oh, more time. Oh, my God. Let me do it again. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Solo un cucchiaio di succhero aiuta la medicina a scendere nel modo più delizioso. See you later. 
What do you reckon, folks? Did he do it? Did he do it all right? Did tone it down? Somebody's writing, what's this all about? <laughs> Super Bro. Somebody explain to Super Bro what this is all about. This is the bit of fun that we have that's got absolutely to, nothing to do with anything other than learning Italian. So Super Bro, just to quickly tell you, Tony said uh, the, the line of a film in Italian. Later, Domenico is going to come on who's trying to learn English, say it in English. And at that point, and only at that point, you can guess uh you can guess the film so mick mickey is saying we are learning britalian very true there you go are we ready are we ready for that was super quick wasn't it 10 minutes 10 minutes i don't think that's a new record i remember tony i have no idea how many people's on here so every now and then if you if you let me know that would be fantastic then i know i'm not just uh, i'm not just speaking to myself okay so are we ready for meet the home buyers one year on let's bring in joe and else here we go <laughs> Good evening. Hey, hey. hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hi, hi. Hi. <laughs> Every, everything good? Yeah, everything okay? Uh, not yeah, too bad. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad. A bit strong winds, but they come down a bit now. So it's it's really good. Yeah. Well, you always know if you look at the dates of my tours, if you just remember in future, that's usually when the bad weather comes in. So <laughs> <laughs> I've got to okay, take not really coming to it for you then. <laughs> I've, I've just noticed it says Jeroen at the top, aka Easy Joe, but there's no uh -huh. mention of Else. Oh, that's, that's, you completely forgot to put Else's name. Else, you need to have a word with him. Yeah, Else. Uh, what are you called? Just Else. Oh, just Else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's simple. simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to keep it simple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's. Uh, I'm sure a few people have seen you before because you. I think you were on our Christmas special as well, weren't you? And then we did a yeah. we did a, a meet the home buyers when you first bought. So do you want to just let everybody know um, where you're from originally? Okay. Well, we're from Rotterdam, Holland, and uh, yeah, what do we have to talk about uh, Rotterdam anymore? <laughs> we have to talk about it. <laughs> it's a very big city, very interesting visit, uh, city to visit. But uh, well, after a while, we thought, okay, let's do something different. We had a holiday home in France, and we decided after retiring uh, to find something else. And then, well, also due to your shows, <laughs> yeah. and we found we a picture of. Uh, uh, the Gran Sasso, and we thought, wow, that's beautiful. Where is that? Where and is then yeah. we were looking around, and then we found it, and then we said, that's the, the next trip we are going to do. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, the rest is history. Yeah, so, we, did a we did a holiday in the north of Abruzzo, and uh, we liked it a lot. We saw a lot of houses and stuff, and then we thought about it, and then we saw your shows, and we continued following them. And then you told us about the beautiful area of Mayela. I said, hmm, we need to go there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when when did the love affair with Italy start? Then I mean, you you got you had a place in France. So when when and why all of a sudden was it all about yeah. Italy? Well, actually, before I uh, bought a house in France, I was looking around in Italy, but I was a single mom, and uh, driving with two uh, small children to it Italy was too difficult, and the prices were quite high at that time. So, okay, I, I bought a cheaper house in France that was doable, and uh, the trip was only eight hours, so that was easier. But my, yeah, my wish was to have a, a house in Italy already then yeah yeah so you both had you both traveled to italy did the usual suspects and the usual places where everybody goes so what yeah. what sort of um what were you looking for in a property at that time oh we had quite a list i i must be honest <laughs> <laughs> we sent it to you yeah we yeah. said we remember it was about four a four pages <laughs> At least. <laughs> oh, at least. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, well, we wanted something rural because the, the holiday home we had in France was quite, um, well, not not uh, isolated, but uh, was in a very small village. But in a widow road in front of us. And yeah. our garden was opposite of it. Yeah. So every time you had to cross the road, 
And it was nice because the the farmers were walking with all their cows and their sheep, and there yeah. was always happening something. But Bonjour! <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to have a, a little bit uh, more quiet. Yeah, and more privacy, and maybe with the drive lane towards a home, or anyway, something with a view. Uh, we like the, the mountains and the valleys and the hills very much, and, and we, well, we were really flabbergasted when we saw the images of Abruzzo like yeah. what this is Italy no way I've been in Italy before with uh, with my parents and grandparents when I was younger but unfortunately my granddad was robbed <laughs> right in the house we rented was a total mess so I have I had only bad experiences from Italy right and um, I never thought about Italy that way but when right. we saw this yeah. Everything changed. Everything yeah. changed. So was the idea always to 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 move over, or or was it just a holiday home? What? Yeah, what first we... they thought let's have a holiday home because then we can uh, do it fifty fifty. But then in, because we had France France already, and that was a total renovation. So we've really worked hard for ten years, yeah. and we didn't want to do that again. And okay. then, uh, well, slowly I was looking around because normally the the houses we found the next two weeks, then they were all sold. Yeah, so within Joe a month. didn't want to look at it anymore. So. I said to else, oh, else, please go on searching, but don't show me anymore yeah. because every time we get the information about the house, oh, sorry, it's sold. Oh, forget it. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. we thought, well, okay, then we need a little bit more money to spend. And then we thought, well, why don't we just go? Yeah. Yo. Yeah, yeah. I, I, can, I can remember when you, when you sent me your, your budget sheet to start with, and all of a sudden the budget just sort of shot up. Or was that at the point then when you decided we're actually yeah. this is going to be a home? It's not going to be a home. Yeah, we didn't home. want to do the, the total renovation anymore. No. So yeah. then we, we went in a, in a higher uh, um, yeah, segment. segment the market. And then we found exactly what we wanted. Yeah. So that well, was very, very uh, easy. Else did, actually. Yeah, I did. She <laughs> put all the houses that she found on Pinterest. Yeah. And then once in a while, I'd look through them. Like, okay, what do you find now? And then this house came on. I said, what else? Yeah. Did you find this? Did you find this? <laughs> yeah. And that was it. And then we booked immediately on a Friday. I remember. Yeah. I, I think you drove down, didn't you? Well, did you drive down, or you yeah, were yeah, here? You contacted yeah, yeah, me and wrong. said we'll be yeah. there in a few days, and, and then that's and right. Yeah, and then on. we uh, we lost Google Maps, so we were <laughs> just running around <laughs> and around in the middle of the night. We got lost around Palombaro, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, I think I saw you pass by our house every now and then. Just yeah, yeah. Around, yeah. a few <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, obviously, uh, we, we do talk a lot on, on these shows about the, the, the Salmona side and people. Obviously, you get lots of people, especially maybe that are having holiday homes, that look in looking in towns and, and uh, uh, towns rather than in the countryside. You guys went for the countryside. Uh, and also lots of people need public transport, but you were in the countryside because you were prepared to drive and everything else. Let's yeah. talk a little bit about, as you say, you started in North Abroad. So um, we sort of persuaded you in, in, in a certain way to come down to the to South Abruzzo so, and you found the village where your house is. Do you want to tell us a little bit? I'm going to just show a photograph uh, of of Chivitella because Chivitella, from from one angle, it looks like you're way in the mountains, and then from another angle, angle, it looks like something from the rolling hills of Tuscany. Do you want to tell us a little bit about about uh, Chivitella? Well, yeah. Chivitella Messer Raimondo, isn't it the full Messer name? Messer Raimondo, yeah, very posh name. We <laughs> fell for it immediately, of course. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's just one of these little towns that you think. Oh, wow. It's on top of a hill, like most of the little towns here in Abruzzo. Uh, that's historically probably uh, because they fought so much um, and they could see the enemy coming, coming from up the hill. Yeah. And then, um, well, we saw this little town. We thought, oh, wow, this is great. You know, it's, it's got everything. It's got a little bar. It's got the church. It's got the, the, the post office. It's got everything. And it's, it's, it's well, it's very central. It's very yeah. close to Fara San Martino, which is a very beautiful place along a, 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 an emerald green river. Actually, it's also the name Fiume Verde, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And it got, it got a beautiful gorge 
like like a, a narrow entrance between the rocks and you can just walk down there it's amazing just yeah, yeah i can't beautiful. find other words yeah, yeah. And so I mean, just, lots of people that, that sort of, and, and lots of people that come out on the tours and things like that as well. When they see villages like this, it's the idyllic sort of Italian hill hilltop town, all the rest of it. People are always always say to me, "Is it cheap because it's remote?" I mean, that you look at this side, you see the mountains. I mean, I don't know if people can see my arrow, but the, the Chivitella is up here, so yeah. it looks like you're way in the mountains. People are going to think you're going to be twenty meters under snow, sort of all year, uh, and, all. and all the. What, what could you say to people that are, that really want this sort of lifestyle, but they're worried that they're going to be remote? What, what right. would you say to those? Well, like you all also mentioned, I think, before in your webinars, like it, it looks all remote because of the landscape. You have yeah. a hill and then again a valley and then a high mountain and then in, uh, you drive along a river in the, in the bottom of a valley. But everything is so close. Yeah, it's every, like, every 10 minutes, there's a small uh, mountain village. It's so yeah. beautiful. And that is also in your seminar that we webinars. listen to, webinars that we listen to. And you said, I want to stay in uh, in a region where I have all those uh, mountain uh, villages. Every 10 minutes, I want to see a village. And that's yeah. here. That's so yeah. nice. And you can find restaurants all over. I mean, just, just 10 minutes drive, sometimes a 15 minutes drive. You got everything here yeah. and it isn't remote at all and it yeah. isn't that you don't have your neighbors everybody knows you in, in 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 just a little bit of time and they help you out and they're curious and ah oh, where you come from and yeah we stuff. had we had a, a first uh, january uh, party and we were there here for one year and we invited 30 people and uh, that was already a lot for us but we know much more people now. Many more people. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's really uh, incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. It's not remote at all, really. No. no. And, that, and that's what I always try and say to people. Obviously, people might think, oh, you're just trying to sell it. You're just trying to, um, you know. But at the end of the day, if people want to be in towns or villages, that's fine. Yeah, if they sure. want to be in the center. But when they see these types of properties and these types of areas, as you say, every five or ten minutes, there's something, and yeah. there's a yeah. there's a whole different type of lifestyle, isn't it, that goes in the yeah. countryside. Like in a, in a city, you have a street, and then you have a lot of restaurants. Here, you have to go in that city is a Italian restaurant. There, you can go to the Thai. Uh, there, you can have. Uh, um, uh, Indian food, everything is here, but you you have to to know where it is. Yes, it takes it takes a while for you to make like a list so where you can go. But everything is really is here. Excellent. Yeah. Would, you, would you agree that the best restaurants are usually out of the towns and tucked away somewhere out in the? Yeah, in the they're country? tucked away. Yeah, true. Yeah, you really yeah. have to get to know them, and and that's why the contact with the with the Vicini, the, the, the neighbors and, and also with expats and people that you meet in 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 in, in supermarkets and restaurants everywhere just start talking and and yeah. ask them where, where would you go what what kind of things do you like you know just ask them they're, they're willing to to talk about that it's yeah. really nice yeah and there are a few home restaurants and uh um three times a month or something they they both uh, have their dinners or lunches and you all, always meet new or the same people but it's always nice and there's a lot yeah. of stuff organized yeah. so you, you you meet a lot of people yeah and yeah. The, the beautiful thing also is not so much in winter maybe but it's not isolated or silent in winter there's always something going on like with christmas you have these amazing shows in about every town yeah, where you can go to. You have the yeah. fireworks on 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 the first of uh, or, or the last day of the year. There um, are jazz concerts. Jazz concerts. And uh, on a on a level that uh, can be in in Rotterdam. Really, we were yeah. amazed. Like, what? This is this is high quality music, you know. This yeah. Is good musicians, and you just find them in this, the smallest ca town of of uh, Lama di Pellini. Yeah, <laughs> and, that, and that's the truth. That's what you're saying now, because yeah. people. People do think, oh, I'm going to be isolated. I'm going to be worried about. And, but exactly what you're saying, it's the same experience I've had. I live in the countryside as well, as you know. Yeah. Uh, and everybody else that chooses the countryside, um, you know, they have the same experience of the same. I suppose it's just people maybe get into their head that 
these little villages are remote everything's cut off there's no services oh, there's uh, so everything. Many people around when there is a festa it's oh, yeah. unbelievable <laughs> because then they come by buses yeah, <laughs> really buses, yeah. and then uh, it's not even like casually you can't enter casually anymore you have to park down yeah. and then you take the bus up when the festa is around and yeah. it's totally festas, full, yeah. full with people yeah. But like in the summertime, like the season is starting now about after Easter, the season is, is like warming up, you yeah. can say, like like the temperatures here. Yeah. And there's festas everywhere. You can I go. Mean, and, and, if you want to, you can go every evening somewhere. Right. So to answer somebody like uh, Mick, Mick, I think it is, or Mick, um, they're saying, what advice uh, do any one of you have regarding moving alone without knowing anyone or, or any Italian or anything? We know a lot of people that came here alone, alone. divorced or yeah. widowed or whatever, and they have the time of their lives. Yeah, really. and, if, and if you open your door and you sit in your garden, uh, it's like holiday. Every day is like a holiday. Yeah. It's unbelievable. We still yeah. we still pinch each other every day. Oh. Like, hey, are we here? Yeah, yeah. we're here. <laughs> we we still do that after after is, all these years as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. really. So Zach is saying, my wife's biggest concern was that it's going to be too quiet in Italy if we move to a smaller town or village and not much going on. But it's great to hear that it gets busy. But it's not a case of busy. It's a case of you no. getting out there and, and making yeah. yourself. You know, you guys, what I, what I loved about when you came is, is you were sort of, you, you wanted to get to know everybody straight away, get to know the neighbours. and get. It was almost like you've got some Italian in you, both of you, are very <laughs> outgoing in, in, in that it way. Like that. Yeah, it felt like that. Yeah, it yeah. Felt like that. Huge, I mean, you, you got to know builders, you got to know everybody within within yeah. days of being here. Yes. Um, yes. And yeah, we, we, we asked everybody, the, yeah. the neighbours and people we met in a supermarket, because yeah, sometimes somebody just starts talking to you. It's very nice. So, yeah. well... It's yeah. not our benefit. It's, it's it's it comes both ways, you know. Is it is reaching out and getting something back? But neighbors around here, they were said, "What? How can you get things done in a few months? What, what, what took us a couple of years? Yeah, well, it's yeah. up to you. It's up to you." But but referring to um, that person, uh, excuse me, how Zach? How I know yeah, yeah, uh, Zach, who is worried about being too. You have to do something yourself. Maybe in, 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 in a big city, it's stepping out of the door and it's there. Here you have to do a little bit more, but you get so much more back. Like yeah. privacy, like big nature, like like quietness, like... Uh, it's, it's, I mean, yeah, we can just walk out of the door with the dogs. Yeah. yeah. And then we make a whole round... Uh, and, and Just you know, here. Uh, yeah, I think... Here. I, I mean, I've always said that living in places like we do, because obviously we live close to each other as well, um, yeah. about 20, 15, 20 minutes away. Mm -hmm. But I always say you can have the lifestyle that you want. Can't you? If you want that quietness on your yeah. terrace, you can have that. If you want Definitely. to find a busier town, you drive. Because Abruzzo is not just about one city or one no, town. not at all. It's about all the different experiences you have in between, which obviously we're going to talk about the lifestyle as well, because yeah. you sent me a lot of photographs of, uh, of the fun <laughs> you've been having in the last year. No, let's talk. Uh, let's. Sorry, Elsa. I was just going to yeah, say. Let's let's talk go a somewhere. Bit Within half an hour, you are there. Yeah. Well, I agree. I mean, you've got within 40 minutes, you've got the ski and within half an hour, you've oh, got the yeah. sea. <laughs> Absolutely. And big everything. towns in between, like Lanciano, Atessa, there's lots, of, Chieti, there's lots of things to there's do. There's a lot yeah. of uh, shopping centers and they're very modern. Everything yeah. is there. The Skara yeah. is just an hour drive, as is the airport. So yeah. lots of things going on. Don't yeah. feel isolated here. Definitely. I mean, a lot of Americans, they're used to big distances anyway. So they don't mind dropping, <laughs> getting yeah. into the car and driving like an hour, just an yeah. hour. <laughs> I know, I know, exactly. It is. A, they don't yeah. care. And Ron's got a great point there. Made lots of friends uh, in less than three months. Uh, Ron's exactly. going to hopefully join us soon with, on, on a Meet the Home Buyers. Um, everyone says Bon John, and that, that's the truth. Even whether you're just walking in the middle of the countryside or the town, yeah, I, I can understand the people that need a driving license that can't get one. I understand all of that. Sure. Um, but I think if you can drive and you're able to drive, it's fantastic, isn't it? Just just exactly. getting out and about. Like so, the comment now of, on Tina, you'll be surprised. Now, exactly. We yeah. were so surprised. We came from a really big city of Rotterdam and things were getting a bit like cold socially, like 
distant you know yeah. from people because there's a lot of fear going on in big cities that's not the way here at all no yeah. and you feel so safe here that's something that you mentioned a few times in your webinars as well it's yeah. rare that i close my door of the of the car in front of here and yeah. we're remote yeah. along a street really yeah, yeah, yeah. in the yeah. walking the dogs uh, after 10 o'clock in rotterdam center that's almost impossible because some, some pe funny people are walking around there. But here you can just go alone uh, with yeah. one or two or all, all the six uh, dogs and <laughs> you can enjoy your time. You don't have to watch over your shoulder for, oh, is somebody following me? No, and yeah. that happens in Rotterdam and that's not a nice feeling. No, not at all. Not at all. So they, let's they talk to, to show some pictures. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show some pictures. Just wanted to say to Zach, because he just wrote a comment that Zach, you don't get on my nerves, believe me. Zach is <laughs> desperate for me to take a video of a property in uh, in Manopelo. And I've uh, I've been promising, and I'm I'm getting there, Zach. Don't worry. And you, you beautiful yeah. town, very nice. beautiful. Manopelo is beautiful. You remember we met there the yeah. first time? Exactly. Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we did. That is true. Yeah, sign the contract. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's a, that's a good sign for Zach then. So yeah, Zach, you're not yeah. getting on my nerves, and I will get that video done. So let's talk a little bit about the house then. Let's. I'm going to show this picture where you've had some work done. I know we're going to show little bits of work that you're having done, but I, I love this picture, uh, even though it's got your car right in the middle of it. I think it's a great <laughs> picture. Um, so <laughs> tell, us, tell us a, a little bit about not just your house, your houses. Well, um well, you, you can, you can. Yeah, at the right side, um, we call the house Romeo, and that's our house. The biggest one. The biggest yeah. one, and then uh, we found out there was a second house, and we <laughs> didn't know at the moment when we saw the pictures. So in the end, there was a second house, and well, we called it Julieta. Well, the strange thing was actually that in the description of the property, there was a certain square meter. Uh, five uh, bedrooms living, living so uh, yeah uh, you know and then we thought where are all these rooms then yeah. and this this house because the other house was kind of blended out of the picture because of well uh reasons of the owners yeah, yeah. and then we saw you made the the videos and you talked quite a lot about this little house that we're seeing now yeah and then we thought oh is it all part of it then Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> so again, so people, people very happy because they thought that's our house. Yeah. Yeah. So Zach, yeah. yes, they are, they do have short term rentals. They're gonna they're gonna talk about that shortly as well. Um, yeah. So when people look at these sorts of photographs, again, even when I look at, even though I know the area extremely well, people will look and think, well, that's really remote. Look, there's nothing. But what it is, you've got glorious countryside, and then just on this photograph, I can see sort of two towns. If I can get my uh, See if I can turn on this pen. I'm just going to ruin your photograph for a second because this one, yeah, this yeah. one is Lama, Lama di Pellini, isn't it? That's yeah. where they you have the jazz festivals, yeah. so you can yeah. see how near it is. And then another, so so from your house to Lama di Pellini, roughly. Obviously, you've got you've got Civitella, which is a few minutes in this direction. Right. You've then got. Sorry, I'm putting terrible arrows all over your nice picture. Then you got That's Faris and Martino. So Civitella, your town, roughly from your house in the car. How long does it take? Three minutes. Okay, Faris San Martino? Five minutes. Five minutes. Then Lama, which is this one that looks miles away on this photograph. Yeah, 15. Yeah, about 15, 15 to 20. Yeah. And then, then you've got Palena, which is the, the one in the distance. Uh, half an hour. Yeah, half an hour, 40 minutes maybe. Yeah. yeah. And then once you get up here, obviously in the in the opposite direction, behind us is the sea, and, and you're, you're sort of half an hour, 45 minutes away from the from the sea. But where I've just put the last arrow, that's all the main ski resorts as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And, yeah. and then you've got, uh, I don't know if you've been to Pesco Costanz or Rivizondoli. We heard uh, about it. They're, yeah, they're, we, didn't, we didn't visit. Uh, it's about an hour drive. Yeah. Most, right. at most. Yeah. And this is these oh, are some of the photographs. This is a fantastic picture. This I oh, must so admit, beautiful. very yeah. good. Uh, so this again is from your. Is this from your yeah. your territory from your yeah, land? Yeah, 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 yeah. From the the upper level, just over over the garden, yeah. over the, the the down level, and just into the little town you see in the middle. That's Forconi, Fraccione Forconi. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's also that's a little, little 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 town. Right, so they're, they're, they're saying so, so uh, Kuczynski and Rotuna, they're saying they're surprised because they look so far apart in the photograph. And again, oh. they do, but there's not, there's just, <laughs> it's strange, well, isn't it? When you look at a photograph. It's just the way down. 
Yeah. And then there's a, a small river with rocks. And then there you can just walk around with the dogs and uh, with your feet in the water. It's yeah. beautiful. It's beautiful. It's all so year that, around that's, streaming that's water that minutes. comes out into the Lago Lago di Casoli, yeah. which yeah. is very near to our, our, our uh, home as well. And it's it's just gorgeous. This is the other way around. Yeah. I mean, the kind of scenery we get. I mean, obviously, we the the, the places we concentrate on most are at the areas around Solnona that have their that have their attractions and everything else. But then, obviously, the areas around here because the the scenery around our side and your side is is beautiful, isn't it? It's 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 stunning. The scenery. It's, we it's absolutely. Uh, we we're living on on like a, a, a corner. Um, the the street, the narrow little street that goes along our house which on a lower level so from our garden okay, we can't yeah we cannot even see that street um but it makes about a 90 degree angle so okay. we can look we have almost have a, a 180 degree view over two valleys it's just when we saw this this when we came there the first time we were like oh, this is this isn't a no-brainer we need to we need to buy this yeah it sounds sorry about I had to leave uh, to let one of the dogs in sorry well we're going to get to know the dogs soon as well yeah. i want to talk about them yeah. uh laurie you are right it is stunning so uh, is. yeah i mean the, so the, the the house the atmosphere of the house and everything else so it suited your your Thank kind you. i'm just going to show more just, let me just show this photograph as well i quite like oh, this yeah. one uh so your fire pit there and this is the thing mm -hmm. of when you're in the countryside i say it's not for everybody but mm -hmm. For those that are considering it, it's it's a great lifestyle as well, isn't it? Just to hang around your house, you know. Oh. The, 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 that's the it's that's so the thing we uh, that's the thing. And Zach's saying, just imagine going on a Sunday morning run with a backdrop like that. I'm not sure about the running, Zach, but uh, but I'll agree with you on the, uh, the running's okay, uh, Zach. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, there's yeah. steep uh, hills, but it's also parts are flat. Really? Yeah. 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 Yes. So. Um, Okay, let me. Oh, so there's some more. You you have sent me a lot of photographs, haven't you? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I gave you a choice. Like, okay, I know, but I couldn't. There was only a few that I moved off. The rest I really liked. So, so let's talk about some of the works that you've had done. Um, right. You know, I know that the place was habitable and the rest of it. This shows something that you've had done. Uh, you've had the, the patio done uh, in front of there. Was this just? I mean, you already had lots of outside space anyway. Did you just need it oh, to yeah. be a bit more? What can you say? A bit more usable, a bit more. What what what's what were your ideas of doing these kind of things? Well, the yeah, yeah you, you come know, on, come on. the only thing that we thought of when we came here is that everything was so dark. The okay. kitchen was pretty dark. Um, uh, well, you on on the the top left picture that was the situation just a, f a few months later than when when, when we bought it. Um, you can see the dark brown poles. There was a a dark oh yeah there was like a roof wasn't there over yeah there, there was yeah. a big dark brown terrace and it yeah. was very low very low for me i'm i'm one 190 meters so uh, it's, yeah. it's a, a, a lot um but that was so to us it was so dark and depressing so we thought oh get rid of it so we wanted actually we were looking for a house with big light rooms yeah and this is the opposite. <laughs> this is the small <laughs> rooms. They're quite dark, but <laughs> it doesn't matter because outside is also your home. Yeah, and that's yeah. huge. It is. Yeah. We have and like three, four, maybe five different places where we can sit and put our chairs and have a nice drink, or or a chat, or or or, or maybe a snack. Really wonderful. At the at the bot at the top left, um, we saw there was a little garden shed in that corner, and that was a, a quite a, a small place. But we extended it on the on the bottom right, and we we uh, um, dig some from the hill, and we put some stones in so the 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 the, the earth will be held back. And then yeah. we extended that area and built a a, a two door um, garage down there. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. It's so wonderful. Some of the other things you're doing with solar panels and things like yeah. that. Yeah. We noticed that the roof um, was leaking and obviously some insects in the, all the years that the house was empty and on the market and off the market. Um, it had some wear and tear, let's say. Yep. that. And insects had been eating the wood and the rain had its part and we needed to 
renovate the roof and then we decided to put some solar panels on it as well yeah okay so this is your your raised bed area then this is yeah. Elsa's story that's my story yeah 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 so uh, it's just uh, of yours? <laughs> <laughs> so i get my salad and my broccoli and it's growing and growing because it's the first year of course and filling the raised beds is uh, quite uh, a hassle because uh, you can't just get those big bags with earth in it. So you yeah. have to scrape it from somewhere else. Right. So there's a, a, lot, uh, a lot of work. Out. A lot of work, yeah. And the pellets, well, we, we would, would be the first ones to agree that the colors on the pellets are not so nice, but... <laughs> <laughs> Those, that will come. Yeah, yeah. That basically, you just high pressure spray them, and then the pain will be gone. Yeah, natural. We're, pain. we're going to talk about your dogs later, so we'll, okay. we'll, not, we'll only touch on it. But I love that photograph. Yeah, yeah. It's great, yeah. isn't it? I have got another favorite, but but I love this photograph. So That's I so know cool. you really loved some of the, the 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 old owners, the way they kept some of the original features, the original doors. Yeah. Um, but as we you said, it. you also love the light. And I and I do love that new door you put in, in the, the, you. the where yeah. it lets in a lot more light, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. It yeah. does. Uh, as as much as we like the doors and the and the and the labor and the effort the, the previous owner had put into it, you could you could feel the love that he put into it. Yeah. Really it was like this front door on the left. It was really beautiful, but um, I have a winter depression, so I needed light. Yeah. I just needed light. So we we decided to change the doors into glass doors. And, and if then, we can look... reuse it, yeah. so we made a small shed, then we used the old doors again. Yeah. So okay. we are going to renovate uh, the small house, then we use yeah. the doors again. Everything is recycled. Yeah. Well, that's one of the reasons why we changed some of the door, the doorways in, in the house. <laughs> Another great picture. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit longer than the the the, <laughs> the average uh, Brit because the former owner was a Brit. Yeah, and Super. they had uh, in the door in in the hallways, like you said, you could see before they had all arches, and the yeah. arches for me were just a little bit too low. So we decided yeah. to to open up the space, yeah. and, yeah. and we're really happy. Yeah, and again, this is great because you've still kept the brick at the side. You've sort of mixed the the, the the rustic with the modern. I think it I think it really works. I think it's uh, it's great that, as Deborah says, that you, you're reusing the doors as well. But yeah. Yeah. I like I do like the mix that you've uh, that you've gone for uh, on there. So and obviously, this is, the house, this is the house that that you guys are going to be uh, uh, renting out. Which I'm going to show the website shortly, but obviously in the chat when you've got a minute, uh, if you want to write the the if you can get onto the chat box and write the write the uh, the website uh, on there, so anybody looking that should automatically. Hopefully I would go love on. to, but if it says I, sending messages is only supported for hosts. Oh well, let it's me see. Thing. Let me see if I can do it then, because if I do it, hopefully it will go on to, you know, that's strange, isn't it? I can't even do it either. Why can't I? Okay, well, I will put a link in the uh, in the description, because I could write on it before, but all of a sudden now I can't write. So anyway, mm. but I'll show the website as well. So it's called uh, Casa Giulietta. Um, that you've got the website up and running, so I say I will. I will link it on there. I will show the website uh, shortly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is some of the. Yeah, I'll, I'll show some of the pictures because I am conscious that I want to definitely get the dogs involved in this one. <laughs> got some great photos. So obviously some of the work that you've been doing uh, yeah. over the time. Uh, again, I love that photograph. That's very uh, – so this is the accommodation then. Obviously, tell us a little bit about the accommodation that, that you've actually got that you're, that you're going to be uh, – that you're going to be renting out. Right. Well, when you made the, 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 the videos about – this part of the, of the property um you went inside and we could not believe what we saw everything inside on the bottom floor had been done it was yeah. brand new the labels were still on the furniture the labels were still in the dishwasher everything was spot on brand new and so we didn't have to do much about it but there was a balcony which you can see on the left uh, the top left corner which is Again, very dark brown. And because it had been abandoned for about eight, eight years. years, maybe nine years, um, insects had eaten the wood. 
okay. unfortunately. Yeah. And we could have chosen to maybe salvage some of the beams and uh, use them, but we, we decided, no, let's get safe. Let's make it completely new um, uh, cover uh, or balcony annex. And this is the bottom floor, like we saw it when you made the the, the, the yeah. videos. And this and is that, the part, this is the part that you're going to be renting out. Is that is that correct? Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's it's a, a big kitchen annex, a dining room, a living room, and a sleeping room. Yeah. And, and also uh, this amazing outside space where people yeah. can enjoy yeah. those uh, can That's enjoy true. those views. So just so seeing as though we're talking about this now, what I'm going to just quickly do is share my screen just so people can make a note of the website um hopefully mm, hopefully okay yeah so people should be able to see uh, all i've got is and so much more let me i'm not making a good <laughs> job of this summer let me here we go let's go to yeah. the top so this is if every, anybody wants to make a a note of it it's casa giulietta Hopefully everybody can see that. You can see that at the top there, Casa Giulietta dot it. Is that is that That's correct? correct? That's Tony, correct. Can you just put that up for me? Can you do a new text box? See if Tony can actually do something for a change rather than just sat there doing nothing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Tony, if you could if you could go into uh, text and create a uh, a new text. I'm just trying to look at his face now. Seeing oh, oh no, it looks like he's doing something, Tony. So. Okay. I, Hopefully, so Casa Giulietta and Tony's going to put .it. That's right. Um, I think he's. I'll, I'll leave it on the screen a little bit because I can tell that Tony's copying the uh, copying the name. Have you finished, Tony? Are you ready? No, he's saying no. Oh well, it's coming up shortly. Let's let's hide that for now, um, and then we'll put it back. Oh no, Tony's telling me to. He wants me to go back. Hold on a second. Let's get him on, Tony. What what are you doing? How long is it taking I'm, you? I'm writing. You're writing. <laughs> <Who's> writing. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, go write quicker. No, I'm going as quick as I can. I think can be it can be in English, Tony. Really, <laughs> this, this is, has anybody <laughs> seen Tony? Look, it's he it really is concentrating on this, isn't he? Have you oh. done it yet? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Good. There you go. Ah, yeah, there it is. Okay. So the so the, what everybody needs to type is Casa Giulietta. That's the spelling. Dot One word. It. So Tony, that's if great. you could, uh, let me, let, I'll tell you what I'll do because by the time I ask him to do it, oh no, you'll have to do it, Tony. So if you could just do it again, just just do the Casa Giulietta. Dot it. He's giving his thumbs up. Okay. So we'll get to that shortly. I've no doubt. So yeah, they, they've got some great outside space to uh, yeah. obviously to enjoy, um, and then some great company as well. So let's just—I just want to flick through a couple of uh, other photographs, and then I'd like to, you to tell me who these this accommodation is aimed for. Because this, by the way, is mm. just this. This is just an <laughs> amazing picture. It sums it, doesn't it? Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> this picture. So obviously. You get what I really, really uh, admire you for as well is is what you do for some of the dogs that you have. And uh, there you go, he's done it. Look, yeah, wonderful. Thank to you, Tony. Yeah. So if anybody wants to take a photograph, I'll li we'll leave that up for a, a, a short while just so people can take a look. Um, what I think is fantastic, what you guys, what you guys do, and I've said this before when you've been on here, is the love affair that you have with dogs. And rather than just sort of going out there and finding the cutest puppy and bringing it home and all the rest of it, tell us a little bit about what what you know what what you do. What what kind of dogs really uh, do well, you we like? Have, to uh, rescue dogs. And uh, was that sorry? Was that rescue? Did you say rescue dogs? Did you say? Yeah, right. and we okay. came with four dogs, and uh, but then we are in Abruzzo, so we thought or Joe thought we. Need an Abruzzeser. <laughs> Marema Abruzzeser. Marema Abruzzeser. And that's the white lady on the table. And well, she <laughs> actually, she, she's a mix with a Labrador. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I'm going to show some of these pictures and I, give us the name and tell tell us a little bit. But there's there's one there's one of these pictures that for me is just straight off a, a Disney film. If these dogs can't talk, then there is something, <laughs> there is something wrong. So I'm going to just introduce. Sorry, what's the name uh, of this one? Sorry, the name yeah. of the name this of this B, this is bb bb okay B, B, yeah she's from she's from teramo oh, yeah. okay 
She was and found then, with, with her brother along the street, and she was really young when we got her, seven months old, and she was all by herself in a little cage, and we felt so sorry for that. So, so we took her. We took her. Yeah. And, and this one here? Yeah, this is this is our Billy. Actually, Billy was uh, the dog of Els, her daughter, and we took her in because the situation in Els, her daughter's family was not... Um, uh, how do you say it? She's not an easy dog. She's not okay. an easy dog, no. Yeah. And when the baby came, she was uh, a bit grumpy, and, yeah. and so we took her in. Uh, so it's Billy. She's from uh, Romania. She's uh, already 12 years old now. This is our Mila. Mila we took from Holland, and she's um, adopted from Portugal. Yeah. She's a Portugal uh, breed. Yeah. And um, she was really small, and well, unfortunately, we lost her. Yeah. Right. Right. And the one on the right, the one—it's the same. Oh, sorry. Is that the okay? Yeah. The Polish yeah. Miller. Yeah. A very okay. naughty girl. Yeah. This is our Bart. Bart is from Crete. Um, I adopted Bart one year after another dog of ours, unfortunately, died um, from Crete. Uh, we took him from Holland as well, and um, well, unfortunately, we lost him also last year and this is the thing this is the thing that you got i mean you're looking after the the older and unfortunately you don't get the the 20 years however long together but it is great what you guys do and this uh, yeah. this one this is rufi and uh, rufi is from spain from valencia and she has a horrible dog disease which is called leishmaniosis and uh, it's lethal but can be kept under control with the right medication and a stressless life so we took her she's about 13, 14 years old yeah, now so already, and she's having the time of her life here. She's yeah, completely deaf. Dogs. She's completely deaf and half blind, but that doesn't matter. She's the sweetest of them all. <laughs> yeah, she's, but she doesn't listen to you. So when we go walking, <laughs> then, oh, oh, where's Rufi? Yeah. Then she goes the wrong way, and then we come back from the other side, and then she's already at home, and then she's standing and waiting for yeah. us. What kept you so long? <laughs> 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 oh, this is a story, really. When we came to live here, well, we walked around with the dogs and uh, we came in a little village that we belong to uh, near, near Civitella and we found this dog and this dog was in such a horrible state and we didn't, it was, was living next to a house, but we didn't know anything about him. We just saw that he was in a terrible state and then we found out that the owner had left him there and had moved himself. Um, he had a horrible, horrible um, dog disease as well. And um, really, okay. he was nearly dead. Yeah. And we took him in. You saw on the left picture when we just got him in. And uh, the owner finally agreed that we could take him in. At first, he denied. He said, no, 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 it's my, my guardian dog. Well, this dog was so ill. He, yeah. he had nothing to guide to guard beyond his, his own life and then on the right you see already that he's, he's in a much better state and he has yeah. got yeah. the time Definitely. of his life now after very expensive medication but yeah. then again he's, he's happy he's very happy oh this is our uh, Nina. then we've the got white one you just saw is is a typical abruzzese uh, marema abruzzese she's, she's 14. yeah she doesn't have any teeth anymore She's from Chieti in the Canile, in Chieti, uh, an asylum, um, dog rescue center. And she's ha she has a very bad heart condition. Um, so well, she we won't stay long no, with us. We, have, we will be happy if, he, if she, she lives through these years. Yeah. 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 And this is our youngest, the newest. Yeah. yeah. And that is... Uh, Jeannie. Jeannie. She's from Puglia. Yeah. Okay. And with us for two two and a half months now and yeah. she's also very happy yeah yeah okay. and next week we get this one <laughs> number <laughs> seven <laughs> she's she's jo zoe yeah. and um the canilla where we uh, got nina yeah. uh contact us and uh, they said you have we know you have already a lot of dogs but for this one we really want to ask you if you can take her because <laughs> her owner died and she lived for 13 years on a small balcony she was not allowed inside because dogs are dirty you don't take them inside and she was very lonely and cold and warm and just only on the balcony balcony yeah. so uh, she really wanted uh, uh, her to have a 
a new family where she could go outside when she wanted and yep. enjoy the nature. And so we said, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So, Four million people who lived on a balcony for 13 years. Can you imagine? Yeah. So somebody was asking about vet services that uh, if there are lots of vets in the area and that oh, kind of a lot a and lot. good ones and very good ones absolutely clinics all the way we have a very good vet here already in Fara san martino which is a five minute drive like we said before and you can call him day and night he's, yeah he's and they wonderful. also and he also helps us with the cost so if he can charge us a little bit less he will do it yeah give us free medication and stuff like that yeah and he calls the 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 pharmacia and he says well they need the medication for the dog so give them a discount and they do Excellent. yeah they do this is the photo this is the disney photo for me yeah, yeah. These, dogs, these dogs definitely talk to each other <laughs> yeah. I, I, I am sure of it these <laughs> that is just a, a a fantastic picture so uh, yeah actually we were working in the garden just below where they were standing and they were just looking like what the hell are they doing now again <laughs> <laughs> Super. Well, hats off to you guys for doing what you do. I, I, I do think it's it's uh, I, I think it's important what you do. I think it's fantastic what you do as well. So uh, and and uh, and I know that you're saying obviously this is anybody that's just joined us. This is the this is your your website. Um, but you're you're happy if people come along with their animals as well. Are, are oh you, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We so accept uh, up to four dogs. Right. No okay. problem. Yeah. Super. And if there are more, then we want to know about it. Yeah. Then we yes. can discuss it. So we are now busy uh, fencing uh, the whole uh, Julieta house. The area. Yeah. So the dogs can run free. And of course, we ask the owners to, to get rid of the, 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 the poo, etc. But we, we provide all the, the bags and, and the, the, the bins to, to put it in. And the dogs are completely safe here. There's no traffic here hardly any traffic yeah. and it they will have a, a time of their life because they step out of the the property and they can walk for hours and hours in a very safe manner it's yeah. really lovely yeah okay so what i'm uh, what i'm really want okay yeah. that's <laughs> that's domenico's time i don't want you guys to go because we just want to talk about another passion of yours briefly after which oh. is this but i'm Ooh. coming back to that <laughs> uh, Ooh, we need to preview yeah let's get Tony and Domenico on here to see. You may as well stay with us as well and see if, see if you, you guys can. Uh, so we're, we're on to, where are we now? Tony, where are we? We're on the Domenico and Tony's tongue twisting trials. This is the final part. Let's bring Tony back on. <laughs> and let's also bring Domenico back on. Buonasera. Ciao. Buonasera. Again, good evening. <laughs> Sei pronto? Hey. Tell me. Oh, you're you're ready. Oh, his English is his English getting very, getting much better. Okay, <laughs> Tony. <laughs> Sorry yeah. for this crazy moment in the show, but uh, but everybody everybody will be uh, nice break. <laughs> Tony. Okay, so are you going to say it one more time in Italian? Time. Oh no no so, no we usually do you after oh no 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 sorry sorry you okay. do it now and then once Domenico has done it then everybody can guess what the film is. We're going to have a YouTube champ and a um uh, uh facebook <laughs> champ okay let's go so tony's gonna do it one more time here we go go solo un cucchiaio di zucchero aiuta la medicina a scendere in el modo più delizioso very good bravo tony allora yes. do, do you know uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joe, do you know do you know the film without saying it? Do you know where it is? Did you understand, Tony? Me? Yeah. No, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't understand. <laughs> it no, was nice and very you. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Domenico, I capito. To, to, ah, so to, so Domenico understood what Tony said. Okay. So now Domenico is going to say it in English, and then everybody can guess. So he's got five seconds to study. Say pronto. <laughs> okay. Bye. Vado? Si. Just a spoonful of sugar helps medicine go down in the must very full way. Very good. Very good. Un'altra volta, un'altra volta. 
<laughs> Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in the most delightful way. Ottimo. Okay, so we've got the YouTube champion. The YouTube champion is Claire. Claire B is the YouTuber. We're going to get anybody on Facebook because there's a delayed reaction. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. No, it's not Claire, is it? Tony, I've done it again, haven't I? It's yeah. not Claire. Sorry, it's actually, it's actually Brian. Brian's oh, done it again. Yeah. Brian's always quick on these. And then on the the uh, uh, Facebook champion is Charity. And it is correct. It's Mary Poppins. Mary yeah, there Poppins. You go. Yeah. Oh, well <laughs> done. To... Oh, blimey, Mary Poppins. <laughs> so well done. Fiction. Well done <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> you know that Dick from Dyke actually was a Dutch guy. Yes, we do. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Well done, Brian, and well done, Charity. You are this week's winners. Bravo, Domenico. Ci vediamo. Ci vediamo domani. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Perfetto. Bye. Grazie mille. And Tony, you didn't Ciao, do too Tony. bad this week. Yes. Not too bad. It's going to be harder next week. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's remove uh this so now getting back to getting back to us um tell us a little bit about this this other passion of yours uh, it's, it's always difficult to tell a little bit about this passion <laughs> but because else has heard the story many 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 times i make it a quick one yeah <laughs> okay it's a renault renault caravel i have, have a passion for 60s uh convertible cars um, actually, this is a 50s car. It's a Renault Caravelle, which it brought on the European market as a Renault Floride and designed in Italy for Renault. And this particular car that you're seeing right now is shipped to America and sold in Arizona. Mm. Some collector in Holland bought it in Arizona, brought it back to Holland, where I bought it at an auction and brought it back to Italy. <laughs> and she's called Brigitte. Why would you call a car Brigitte? Well, I'll tell you. When it came out in, Holland, in, in Europe as the Renault Floride, the beautiful Brigitte Bardot was given a white one with blue leather interior, and she was the sales girl for this car. So <laughs> it's a beautiful story. I just love it. And yeah. she runs like crazy. I brought a from Holland to here, it drives. It's it, this is in 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 uh, Civitella Maseramondo. That is the beautiful castle on top of uh, Civitella Maseramondo. I went there with a friend, and well, I thought it was a, a beautiful picture. Yeah, it was definitely, definitely. Yeah. And here, what is this? Oh, this, this yeah, this is this is a really nice car show that's held you have every many year. Many here. Yes. Yeah. Many car shows, many uh, special um, uh, routes they make with with classic cars. They love classic cars here. I always get the thumbs up when I drive somewhere, and they say, "Whoa, bravo, <laughs> bravo!" So I'm really happy. But everybody asks me, "What kind of car is this?" So this kind of, of events I, I'd like to go to. This is actually in Lanciano. And okay. um, it's, it's, it's wonderful. For me, so it's... If, any, if anybody comes to stay in your place, you know, as a little home in Italy special, you know, if anybody contacts you from the show, would you give them a little... I'm not saying they can drive, but would you give them a little drive around? Could yeah, we sure? certainly can. We certainly can. And we invite them to take a nice gelato. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're you do, what else can you do in Italy? Well, you have to <laughs> get yourself a nice ice cream, isn't it? <laughs> and your other passion... Yeah, well, um, classic motorbikes. And um, actually, we try to attract uh, a special group of guests also for Casa Giulietta. Is the kind of people that would drive motorbikes when they were younger and then maybe um, would, would um, uh, start a family with kids and thought maybe the risk of off, often one of their kids is too high and they stop driving the motorcycles. But, you know, this itch... When once you drove a motorcycle, you know what it feels like. So after maybe the kids have left home, they want to drive again. But do you want to drive all the way from Belgium, Holland, Germany, where people come from, on your motorbike to here and drive around? So we thought, well, 
they could use our motorbikes yeah, they if can. they come here. So they, they can, can rent, rent them. It. Yeah. Super. They can rent them from us. And it's a classic bike. This this both Royal Enfields, which are very popular bikes in Italy, by the way. Yeah. British British um, uh, motorcycles. The one in the front, uh, the guy, a friend of mine in the black suit, he's, he's um, driving the, the, the modern one, which came out last year in December. And the, the older one on the background, that's me. Um, that model has been built since 1933. <laughs> really nice so it's yeah. really a classic design and then on the right we see our you see you can see our electric bikes which also people can can use Excellent. and they have a range of about 80 kilometers so that's yeah quite good well that's a that's a um sorry i've got i'm showing tony there Don't yeah, know I don't I'm sorry about that uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a good job it wasn't in a compromising position um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah superb idea so anybody that's interested take a look at the website it will also be uh, uh, pet friendly it's also great people coming along and maybe give a hand with the with, with your animals take them for walks go for walks with you guys which I'm, I'm oh, sure yeah, no problem. Uh, they love we, it. and we'd love to present people also the local specialities of this region so we make our jams and marmalades ourselves else is a very good bread baker and um, all these kind of things we can we can offer them so. Super. Well, Zach wants me to do that film as soon as possible because he just wants to get out there and meet you. So <laughs> let's just start to wind this wind this down because I've taken people over time, but I'm sure everybody's really interested. Tony never tells me how many people's watching because he just forgets that. But uh, let's just have a quick, uh, quick look at your lifestyle here. Tell us some of the things that you enjoy doing. This is a this is a, a home. These or oh, these are a couple of home restaurants, aren't they? Just tell us what what the concept behind these are. Yeah. Well, um, on top is uh, Marta's, and uh, she uh, takes everything out of the nature. So uh, she is cooking what's, uh, what she can get uh, from the land. Yeah, and from, and, and from the woods. Yeah, and uh, there you meet a lot of different people because uh, you book it for two people, and then the maximum is 10 people or something like that. And there we really meet a lot of nice people. Yeah. And then I can, see, uh, I can see Lexi and Craig in this top photograph. Yeah, well. they are. Ah, they are uh, yeah, most, yeah. most of the time, they are there as well. Yeah, wherever there's party, food, and alcohol, then you will yeah. find Lexi and Craig. It's so nice. Yeah. yeah. American and couple across the valley. Yeah. yeah. This is a, another another great way of, of obviously meeting locals and the rest of it. And the couple at the bottom right, the, the name of their. Um, this is uh, Max and Molly's okay, Casa Max Faraone. And Molly's. And uh, that's five minutes from here. He's, an, he's an Italian chef. Yeah. Yes. Super. And they make uh, dinner parties or lunch parties. And the food is really nice. It's and amazing. also as, uh, here you can meet a lot of different people. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. And, and that, that's the great thing. So looking at some of the photographs you sent me, obviously there's quite a lot on each one of these. These are all different festas looking at Lanciano. You certainly have... Uh, a, a busy life but again these are all towns and villages that are close by aren't they all absolutely these it's all close by yeah absolutely so i'm just yeah, going to show people yeah. a few we've obviously got sulmona there at the bottom as well i'm going to show yeah. a few of your few of your lifestyle uh yeah, yeah. bottom so the left, top left uh, bomba rocco scalena jesu palena um sulmona of course yeah <laughs> So, so would you say your lifestyle is, uh, you know, when people worry, what will I do if I'm in the country? What will I do if I'm too? I mean, looking at everything you guys do. Uh, too much. Wow. It's too much. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Really, you could go, oh, this is so beautiful. This is Fara San Martino, the Green River that I just mentioned before. Yeah, um, the, the convent. Yeah, the ruins of the old convent in the gorge of uh, Fara San Martino. And, and it's hard to explain to people, isn't it? The position of that old convent is just oh, incredible, isn't it? Incredible, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah. It's very it's, nice. It's, it's a must visit, absolutely. Yeah. This is in uh, Pede Piedmonte. Yeah, I was just looking actually in my heart where you can't quite see, but I live round about yes, there. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. Yeah, yeah. I had a lovely hike, a really steep, steep hike of about a couple of hours with a friend yeah. of mine up the up here, and it was just amazing. The castle of Rocas Calenia, also yeah. like 20 minutes drive from here. They also have a lot of festas over there. Yeah. 
this is from the castle from the tower down um through the valley and over the the the, the little church uh, on the on, on the left it is and it is incredible the castle there as well the way so it's built, built onto the rock yeah altino yeah the old altino town yeah which is a cool. must see it's it's an amazing castle as well yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, Villa Santa Maria, okay. where there's actually a very old pre-medieval church that you see here that was used by the Crusaders. Yeah. Yeah. This is a little church out of, of Civitella Mesramondo. Yeah. Five I, wondered minutes. Where, I wondered where this one, I was looking at this thinking I don't recognize this one at all. Yeah. So this, it's a bit hidden. It. Right, right. Then obviously the family come over and see you as well, which is yeah, yeah of course. Our daughters with children. Yeah. Super. In two weeks we have our oldest daughter coming again with her with, children. Yeah. And do I they do them. they love it? Have they got the same oh, passion? Crazy about it. Yeah, they love it. Yeah. yeah. Our youngest daughter says coming here is like coming to a holiday resort. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like this, everything. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is the, 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 the lake, lake of Casoli, isn't it? Yeah, Lago di Casoli, Lago di Angelo. Yeah. Great, yeah. A great restaurant on there as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. La Villetta. No, um, yeah. uh, La Torretta. La yeah. Torretta, yeah. yeah. They call it steak by the lake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going to get superb steaks down there. Yeah. And this is the little river uh, down here, five minutes away, where you can just walk through the water and uh, with the dogs. Super great dog walks, excellent. So life in the countryside is not quiet and lonely and and not peaceful and anything else, is it? No, it's not at all. Yeah, not if you all. want to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, in the festa season. We there's too much to do. <laughs> yeah, so much, so much. And then obviously as well, we're only half an hour away from the from the beautiful coastline here as well, aren't we? Yeah, so, absolutely. The yeah. beaches are, are magnificent. You have some pebble beaches. You have some sand beaches. Yeah. Depending what you want, you want the the the, the Roman um, like terrace like uh, <laughs> beaches that that's close by as well. Uh, you can find everything. You can. And the Trabocchi coast, of course. Uh, yeah. The, nice the restaurants. Yeah. Fish restaurants. Um, yeah. The they open uh, with Eastern. Yes. And, and, through, um, yeah. and otherwise in winter, some restaurants are open, but you have to know who is open at that yeah. moment. Brilliant. So, well, you've yeah. done an excellent job of selling Abruzzo. So uh, I'll, I'll definitely give you that. And with all the photographs as well. <laughs> yeah. So everybody that's looking, this is their website. If you're interested in a, a, de a detached, I'm going to say farm stay, but detached, uh, detached day and experience on uh, on potentially in some uh, on some old motorcycles and uh, that beautiful car that you have as well then obviously that's the email address visit it everybody send an email and i'm sure joe and else will be uh, extremely happy to oh yeah. yeah extremely i want to thank you for for advertising us uh, like no this problem. Wonderful, Pleasure. and uh, thank you for the compliment, Pe Petty. <laughs> hope <laughs> to meet you sometime. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hope Super. to meet you both. Oh, maybe Petty's around then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always welcome. Yeah. When you're hopefully, here. hopefully, yeah. some people are going to get in touch with you. But again, I, I think the thing that you guys do as well, you give a lot out, and and I think, and especially with the dogs and things like that, I think that you just des you deserve all the happiness that you've got, and you deserve all the the best of mm -hmm. luck with you. Thank your, you. Likewise, your, Dave, because you say so many good things about Abruzzo and about living in Italy. You give so much information and tips and what to do and what not to do, and especially where not to listen. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. And um, well, uh, one advice from us when coming here um, don't be shy and ask around and use people, well, use in a friendly way, um, use people local. Yeah. yeah. I agree with you. I Invite agree. people to help you, and you'll be asked someday to help them. And it's it's a thing, it's a thing that that happens. Luckily, happens still in the Campania here, and that's really nice. Yeah. It gives us a feeling of being at home. Yeah. Well, that's a great great way to end the end the evening. Thank you so much for giving up your time. Really appreciate it. We will have this pizza uh, at some point. I've been saying it. How long, <laughs> how long have I been saying it now? Is it about a year? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you've always been busy, and you get busier and busier. So <laughs> it's got to be at least a year. It's the longest pizza at in least. life ever. So, yeah, 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 it will be the biggest pizza in your life as well. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate. Yeah, it. Thank you, Dave, yeah. and thank Tony. No yeah. problem. I will let him know. Thank you so much. We'll okay. see you really soon. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. 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 Thanks. Okay, folks. So there you go. That was that was a nice one, wasn't it? That was a nice, nice session. It's great to hear people that are that are content in life, happy in life. And also it's uh it's uh Claire saying it makes me want to move there even sooner, and so it should. We live in a very special place and uh and we live with very special people amongst us as well, which is which is fantastic. Patty's saying, I think we all need to have a huge party when we all get there. I agree. We need to find we need to uh we need to do that definitely. Okay, so thank you so much for for joining us. As I said tonight, if you want to get in touch uh, with uh, with Joe and Els, then sorry, Tony's just got rid of that. Then uh, I was just Tony. I was I was doing the winding down session. Then thanks. Uh, if you want to get in touch with Joe and Els, www.casajulieta.it. Uh, give them a, an email and. Uh, yeah, why not go and stay? Go and stay there and see what it's like living in the fantastic countryside of Abruzzo. Okay, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you again next week where we're actually talking about Abruzzo again. Uh, it's a special version of, of uh, my Abruzzo. So we will see you at the same time next week. Thank you very much, Zach, for that uh, kind, uh, for your kind remarks tonight and everybody else really, really do appreciate it. We'll see you, see you all next week at the same time, 7 p.m. Italian time. Have a great week, everybody.